a sundial. I like sundials. I've always liked sundials. I think they're cool. This says September 23rd. Well, today is September 18th. Close enough, but I don't know. I don't know how this affects it. Oh, the yellow. The yellow. No, the green. The green. So I'm, I'm going to want to look at the green here. All right, I get it now. I'm not as dumb as I look. All right, yeah, this, um, well, it's a quarter after 11. And this, this line here is the 11 o'clock line. That line there is the 12 o'clock line. So the sh shadow should be on this line. But that's all right, it's close enough. So each of these uh, sections here correspond to a month. Well, not all the months. Let me see. August, September, October. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what's this one? Okay. Far one there is June, July, August, September, October. November is the purple. And the turquoise is December. Beautiful. Well, I came across town over here to Kyungi University. This is uh, it's where I meet my private students and uh, where I found the sub shop which is closed today. I came over here because I thought because it's a university and there are a lot of foreigners around this part of town that the stationery shop would be open and the bookstore is open and there's a stationery shop inside the bookstore but Apparently it's a separate thing because the stationery shop is closed for Chuseok. Usually this time of day, that little plaza down there is hopping with people. It's always a fun game to play. What's open on Chuseok? When I, my first year in Korea, 1997, I think somebody had told me that uh, nothing's open on Chuseok, and I didn't believe them. And in those days, in that year particularly, there was literally nothing open. Not a convenience store, not a gas station, nothing was open for three days at Chuseok. And fortunately, my co-worker Hilda who was married to a Burmese businessman. So they had a lot of money, lived in a really nice apartment on a really nice part of town. And uh, she had a little get together, I think the day before Chuseok, the first day or the second day at Chuseok, I can't remember. And I was really grateful because <laughs> I, I, I stocked up uh, on water. I got a bottle of water from her and some scraps to eat, take home with me. I learned my lesson. But now, but now convenience stores are open on Chuseok. You don't have to worry about that. Well, the Korean says safety supplies. The English says safety supplies. But I don't know what makes these safety. Oh, I see. Keep children's fingers out of the outlets, etc. All right, I get it. The uh, stationery section doesn't have the little accounting roll, roll the little paper like you put in an adding machine. They don't have that. So I thought there might be an office supply section. I'm still looking for that. It's a big store, except when you get inside there, 60, I think at least 60% of the store is clothes. It's built as, as a department store, but it's not much of a department store. Um, the, the stationary section was just a few shelves. So I'm not going to find what I want 
I don't think. I'm gonna wend my way back towards home. Maybe I'll see something on the way. All right, this is one of the Alpha stationery shops. It's a chain or a franchise, I'm not sure what, but uh, I went in there and asked for the little paper roll. And he showed me one. I said, yeah, that's it. And he said, we don't sell these. <laughs> and I said, what? Well, you have them, but you don't sell them. Yeah, they have them for their cash register. So he just he just gave me a roll for free. So I I bought some airmail envelopes and a pen to be nice. Oh, uh, I'm gonna miss this when I get back to America. I certainly am.